Hello. Today we are going to be working on seated postures. And so the intention for this is to really ground. So we're gonna have our, our root right on the earth. So we're really gonna work on grounding techniques as well as working through some of the side body. So creating space along the sides of our body, right? So you're gonna just need a mat and something comfortable to wear and let's get started. Okay, so I like to sit in an easy seated position to start. Kind of moving around to make sure that my sit bones are firmly pressed against the mat. Go ahead and flip the palms up and we're gonna put the first two fingers and the thumb together. This is a mudra to really help to open up the channels within the body. So start with closing the eyes, rolling the shoulders down and back, and connect with your breath. Feel the belly rise and fall. Feel the chest rise and fall with each breath. Notice any areas that you might be holding on to. And I want you to invite those places especially the womb, to relax, release, be free. Oftentimes in our culture, we are told to suck it in, to hold it in. That causes a lot of, it, it really compromises the belly and even the pelvic organs and the pelvic muscles. So let's take this opportunity to allow ourselves to rest. I'll let the belly expand, let it drop, let it get full, right? Just allow that beautiful womb space to be in its natural state. Maybe taking a few moments to rub the belly, rub the womb, and just sending gratitude and love to yourself, to your body. The beautiful being that you are in this moment, you are beautiful. You are loved. You are amazing. You are wise. You are strong. Allow the belly to rest. Uh, bringing those hands back into that mudra, thumb and first two fingers together. Coming back to the breath. Taking a couple of nice deep breaths here. We're going to begin by placing our hands right on our shins. We're going to inhale and we're going to take the chest, the heart chakra forward, opening the heart, opening the throat, third eye is open. Inhale. As we exhale, we're gonna curve back. So I think about like scooping, like I have an ice cream scoop and I'm scooping the belly as I'm rounding through the spine and I drop my chin towards my chest. Again, inhale, come forward. And exhale, go back. And I'm gonna do this at a side so you guys can see the, the curvature. So inhale, come forward. And then exhale, round through the spine, drop the chin. Move it through those shoulder blades. Okay, do that again. Inhale, come forward. And exhale back. Again, inhale, come forward. And then exhale, go back. So I want you to do this at your own pace. So following your breath pattern. 
Full breath forward, full breath back. And I just want you to bring awareness to your body as you're doing this. So maybe you're feeling some areas that feel heavy or tight. Try to practice non-judgment here by just being aware. Say, oh, hello, I feel a little bit of tightness here in my chest. Thank you for showing me that tightness. And then you breathe into it. You ask it to release with the breath, with the movement. All right, let's do one more inhale, exhale. Coming back to center. Now we're gonna start the scoopy grind or the spiral. So we're gonna inhale, I'm gonna to go towards the left, inhale. Exhale, drop the chin towards the chest. Inhale, come forward, open the heart. Exhale back. So we always like to go to the feminine first. So that is the left side of the body. So again, inhale to the left, and then you're gonna exhale to the right. And you can take this slow, or if you wanna kind of speed it up a little bit, you absolutely can. What we wanna avoid doing is, is lifting. See how I'm lifting my hips up? We wanna keep our sit bones, on the mat. We want to keep our root chakra connected to the earth. Okay. This is fantastic for stirring the kundalini. Okay. For really getting the kundalini moving within the body. Right. Inhale, exhale. Closing the eyes and just feeling your body. Feeling your breath. So one more inhale, exhale, and we're gonna switch direction, okay? So we're gonna inhale to the right, exhale. Open the heart as you come forward, round through the spine as you go back. Two more, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Come back to center, find your breath. Allow those energies to rise up the spine, all the way up to the third eye and the crown of the head. Good. Next, what we're going to do is go ahead and open up our legs. We're still, this whole practice is going to be on the floor today, really working on our, our body. So we just worked on our root chakra. We worked on our sacral and our solar plexus. Now we're going to work a little bit more on the legs. Okay. So you can use a block for this if you need a little extra length. What we're going to do is we're going to inhale our arms up overhead, reaching all the way up to the sky. Inhale. And then we're gonna exhale forward fold. And again, you can you can absolutely like rest your you can rest here, or you can just use your hands and kind of walk out. Bring your scoop back so you can see me. Okay. 
just feeling that beautiful length happening. And we still want to be long through the neck. So we're not dropping the chin towards the chest. You want to have a nice neutral spine. If you ever feel like you're getting any kind of tightness or discomfort in the neck, just turn your gaze up more in between like your wrists and less into your chest, okay? So that makes a really big difference. And if you're able to drop lower, like dropping onto the forearms, you can do that. If you want to stack your hands, you can do that. Again, you also have the option to stay up. Okay, so everybody's body is going to be different every moment of the day. So again, it's so important to do what feels best for you in this moment. Not what you could do yesterday, not what you think you should do, what you are, what your body is responding to now. So it's all about connection to the body and how you can really start to hone in to your strength and your magic, right? Through that body. So doing again, what feels best for you. Connecting with the breath. And now slowly come on up. And the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna place one hand on the outside of the back of the leg. And we're gonna really reach up through our fingers, okay? So we're not leaning into it yet. I want you to think about really extending out of the hip, lengthening all the way up through that middle finger, reaching towards the sky, okay? Inhale. And then as you exhale, you're gonna turn to the palm is facing down as we add a little bit of a side stretch bend. I just love how the light is coming in on me right now. <laughs> it feels like I'm in a, a ray of energy. Beautiful sun ray. Good. And then slowly bring it back down. Same thing. We're going to inhale, reach up, lengthen through the side body. Switch the wrist a little bit. Palm into the face down as you exhale. Taking a couple breaths here. And we're gonna move through this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna inhale, center. Exhale, side stretch. Inhale, center. Exhale, side stretch. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and do this at your perfect pace, following your breath pattern. Go ahead and do one more. Inhale, exhale. Good, coming back to center. Bringing both feet in. And again, we can use a block for this next pose too, but don't ever feel like you can't use equipment. Equipment is beautiful. They're tools, right? Just like our, our oracle cards or using a pendulum or using crystals or whatever it is that you use in your practice, the tools are here to help us form a deeper connection, okay? So these are super inexpensive, Amazon, Walmart, Target, um, they're just called yoga blocks and they're amazing tools to have. So we're gonna start with our feet a little bit wider, okay? So just about um, in line with our hips. And we're going to inhale the arms forward. And as we exhale, we're going to do a forward fold. So this is a fantastic pose for all of the muscles on the back of the body. So we're working our calves, our hamstrings, our glutes, our lower back, our upper back, our shoulders. Good. 
this targets the, the chakras of the back of the body as well, especially like the heart, the throat, the solar plexus, those areas are really getting a nice stretch. So energetically, you're opening up those places in the body. Our chakras are these wonderful, wonderful wheels of energy, these balls of energy. And they go in all directions. Some say just front and back, but the more I explore the energy body, I, I really believe that they go out in every direction. So really tuning in here, allowing the back chakras to open, to expand. Take another breath here. And then you're gonna slowly walk your hands up. We're gonna bring one foot into that upper thigh, okay? Same thing, we're gonna inhale the arms up overhead. And then we're gonna exhale, leaning forward. Again, if you can't get to the floor, use your block. If you need extra length, you can actually put the block in front of you and that allows you to have a little extra space to place the hand, okay? You can also do it without a block. Moving into your breath. Inhale, exhale. And then slowly walk your hands back up. And let's switch to the same the other side. Maneuver so your sit bones are still on the ground. And you'll notice that one side of the body, especially like the legs here, if you're just starting out or you're getting back into a practice, you know, you might see that your leg is high up, okay? And, and sometimes to make that a little easier, what you can do is you can extend the leg out a little bit, okay? Just till you start to get that flexibility in the leg, okay? Just letting gravity kind of work that leg down as it needs to. So we're gonna inhale arms back up. And again, we're gonna hinge forward and I'm gonna use a block just to show you extra length on the bottom of that foot. One more breath here, inhale, exhale. And slowly walk your hands in. And our last posture we're gonna do is bring our, our feet together. Just again, just to allow gravity to work. So you might be here today, okay? But know with practice that over time, flexibility does increase. So you can place your hands like on your shins or you can grab onto the feet, whatever feels best for you. And we're gonna sit here with a nice long spine. So I'm kind of hinged forward just a little bit. Okay, so you start with a nice long spine here and then you're just gonna hinge forward, but we're not gonna round into it. I want you to keep a nice long spine, long neck. It's just a variation of this pose. This one really, right now, the, the feet are closer into the, um, the growing area. And so this is really targeting the inner thighs. But if we just move our feet a little bit out, and then we scoop the belly, right? We scoop the belly like an ice cream scoop. We scoop the belly, round the back, drop the chin, and come forward. And this posture, it's going to work more of the outer thighs. Okay, so let's, let's hang out here for a little bit.
Lift with your breath. One more breath here. And slowly roll it up. I'm going to turn to face you. Come into that easy seated position. Right, inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Namaste. My soul honors yours. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me with another amazing, short, but effective yoga series.